51, alam kong hindi ako nakapag-post kahapon. Medyo drained, as in drained, napagod ako buong araw. So, I just decided to just do it today. And bamaya magpo-post ulit ako para makabawi. So, and yesterday, aside from being drained, nagkaroon ako ng ano, internet interruption. So, hindi ko na ituloy. So, yan. Before anything else, today is a very wonderful day. Warm na naman. So, baka mabuhay ng mga tao natin dyan. And, I found it really good na mag-start maglaba ngayon. <laughs> okay, naka-second set na akong labada. So, I think that's, that's a good start for us today. So, before anything else, I am Coach Juriel. I am a certified CACC Professional Life Coach from Life Coach Philippines. I am a certified martial arts instructor. I am a marine engineer by profession and I help people navigate through life and love through coaching classes and services that includes responsible online dating. I am also a scholar for Coach A, for Master Coach A for public speaking and this episode includes acquisition. It's another play on words. So, yeah. Today's topic is, or the title is, Nozix experience machine blurring fantasy and reality yeah so um premise neto is a mad scientist invents the machine that will simulate all that you can think of it will reproduce all your whims and fantasies once you are in it so the machine the machine that will make all this real seemingly real na invento na siya and once you are plugged in mararamdaman mo or makikita mo lahat yun it will feel very real seemingly real but everything will just be a simulation the catch is once you are hooked in to the machine you can never be unhooked anymore hindi ka na pwede tanggalin so the machine that will make your reality or that will simulate the reality will be your life support system now that machine that reality machine or that experience machine is your life support system. So, dahil tayo maganda questions dyan. And, and honestly, a lot of movies have uh, explored the thought like The Matrix, Ready Player One. So, those are just some of the examples na I can, that I can uh, call from the top of my head. So, Ano ba yung, ano ba ba yung mga pwede natin mapag-usapan dyan? So, how about the pleasure of a seemingly real daydream? Isa sa mga naalala ko dito si Coach Maan. Coach Maan, itatag kita mamaya. <laughs> so, has anybody or have you experienced going off on a daydream? Ay, especially yun, mainit. Ang sarap pag daydream ng malamig. <laughs> diba? So, that machine... That machine will uh, make all your whims and fantasies very real to you or make make you feel those those whims come true. Seemingly come true. Kasi simulated pa rin siya eh. So, di ba? How often do you go about on a day na nagde-daydream ka? Do let me know in the comments. Ako kasi nadadalas ako minsan, especially pag nahihirapan. It's actually something that's helpful for me kasi I get to take off a bit of tension from from the daily pressures nare-release ko yung tension nakakapanaginip ako kahit paano paano kaya kung ganito and what if you are hooked to a machine that does that for you sige pag-isipan nyo so yung pleasures of a seemingly daydream yung akala mo nandun na even for just a few seconds, feeling mo millionaire ka na, billionaire ka na, and everything that's everything that's uh, that's going for you is actually excellent. But you have to snap back to reality. Pag tingin mo sa computer mo, ay may kailangan pa pala akong tapusin. So yun. So the question is, which will you choose and why? Kung may ganong klaseng makina, will you be, will you be open to be, uh, to be subjected to it? Will, will you want to be plugged in? Doon ka na, buong buhay mo. Once, 
once you are plugged in, everything else will be taken care of. So, siguro the logistics of it is, wala ka ng bills na babayaran. Siguro ang bills na lang na babayaran mo is, yun, yung power na gumagamit. But you're there already. Hindi ka na pwede tanggalin. Eh. So, effectively, hindi ka na makakapagtrabaho. So, siguro yung logistics na lang, medyo nakakaano lang. Para sa akin, ha, kasi, no matter how enticing it may be, I, the, let's say, the person who will be hooked into it, hindi ko, hindi ko pa rin pipiliin, para sa akin, ha, that's just my opinion. So, no matter how real it may feel, there in the, in that machine, hindi pa rin ako magpapahook dun. Okay, first and foremost, the logistics of it. Paano mo babayaran lahat yun? Is there a contract that will... But if everything else is still taken care of, hindi pa rin ako magpapahook dun. There's, there's something about feeling reality in its, in its essence ang, ang hindi ko mabibitawan eh. Yan ang sa akin. Eh. There's, there's that just the experience of it, the pain, the pleasure, the, the frustration, the triumph. I can never live in a fantasy world na simulated lang lahat yun. And if tinanggal ka dun, hindi syempre deads ka na. But, wh- where's the meaning of that? Where's the meaning of you coming into terms with the life that you live? Diba? Kasi, sa akin, the main reason why I don't want, I as a person, do not want to to experience that. Kasi, at the end of it all, pag tinanggal at deads ka na, if your consciousness still will linger in, let's say, in some afterlife, para sa akin, nagmumukha kang duwag eh, because you did not face life at all. Which brings me to, to my next question is, do your struggles truly mean anything? Ako, sa akin, if, if you'll relate it to the, to the myth of Sisyphus, that he will find later on the meaning of his struggles to his existence, parang ganun din ako. Even if I am confronted with the truth that at the end of this all, kung wala talagang meaning lahat to, then I can make my own meaning. And I think that's a power that I can definitely say that akin lang yun. That I was able to put meaning in something that did not have any meaning at all. And for me, that is beyond. That is beyond being human. That already borders the realm of the divine. Kasi, there was no meaning, but you were able to give. Uh, you were you were able to give meaning to it. Diba? Your life, the sequence of events that has happened in the grand scheme of things. Kung, kung in the objective view, wala talaga siyang meaning. But you, as a person was able to give your struggles a meaning, your life a meaning. Because you own it. Pag nakaplug kasi ka dun sa machine, wala. That's just your fantasies. Nakahiga ka na dun. You're not actually doing anything. You're just thinking. The machine is just reacting to your thoughts. But in reality, reality is, yung, yung reflection kasi ng reality is yung pain and frustration. Eh. And your triumphs din that you you feel and experience the good and the bad as it happens not because you are just lying there pero di natin alam we may all just be <laughs> simulated reality of someone else of, of uh, another divine being so hindi natin alam but for me do my struggles mean anything yes it means something to me and that's what's important so if you are having struggles right now okay lang naman mag daydream Take off the attention for a little bit and go back. Conquer the struggles. Because those struggles should mean something to you. Not to anybody else's, but only to you. Kasi may meaning yan. And you may not know the meaning now, but in a few years or let's say a few decades after, you will see. Oo nga. All that I have struggled for, they were for something. They were for me. So yan, I hope that you can connect this to your to your daily lives. Especially ngayon, maraming paghihirap. And I think it's it's comforting that we can say that 
we as people we can we can put meaning into our suffering so yan i hope that you've learned something i'll post again another later so i'm always on the road to po to put one meaningful content a day and i hope that this bright afternoon will also brighten your day so if you are curious about coaching if you want to experience the magic of life coaching or you want to be certified as a life coach do contact us at 0917-586-1661 that is again through coach Rizal at 0917-586-1661 and if you have any comments suggestions violent reactions do let me know at para mapaunlakan natin yan I do take in requests and I am actually looking forward to your requests. So I hope that you are staying all cool, safe, dry, healthy, and hydrated as always. So peace out.